Okay, we're going to draw radar grass for concave mirror. In the case of concave mirrors, there are six cases that you can use. Uh, you can have the object at infinity, meaning any distance in which the, the rays come in parallel, in which case all the rays will focus on to the focus. And that's the technique they use for making flashlights. They'll put the light bulb at the focus because when the rays reflect onto the mirror, they come out parallel, they form a nice beam. Uh, you can put the object somewhere past the center of curvature. You can put it between the center of curvature and the focus, or you can put it closer than the focus. In each case, you get a different uh, effect. We're going to explore how to draw a ray diagram, so for the purposes of the drawing, we're going to pick an object between the center, the center of curvature and focus. So again, we always use two rays. One ray goes straight towards the mirror and then goes through the focus. The second ray, the second ray goes through the focus first and then reflects backward, uh, reflects back parallel to the principal axis. So let's draw the first ray going to the mirror. When it reflects back, it goes through the focus. Second ray, I'm going to choose a different color. Goes first through the focus, hits the mirror, and then reflects back parallel to the principal axis. I didn't draw my first ray long enough. Where the two intersect <clears throat> is where you will get the image for me. The image for me over here. So if you analyze the image using our famous technique, solve where S stands for size, A for attitude, L for location, T for type. The size of the image is bigger in this case. The attitude is inverted, gives you an upside down image. The location is in front of the mirror, which means it's a real image which can be focused onto a screen because the, the actual rays will converge onto a point. It makes them focusable. So that is how to draw a ray diagram for a concave mirror. Bye, everyone. Bye.